wilderness clue scrolls are not for the faint of heart. If you have serious heart conditions, if you are epileptic, you know, if you're prone to seizures, I would not recommend this. If you get anxiety very quickly, you should not be doing this because it is scary. It's very scary to go in the wilderness and only big boys get to do it. Okay? Hey, what's going on, guys? Um, in this video, I'm going to show you what to do when you get a wilderness clue. So, you just finished your last Saradoman Wizard, and you get a clue that takes you to the wilderness. Now, if you have the proper setup, you keep a ring of doom on you. And you go to this place called the Ferox Enclave. And you come here, and you go through the free-for-all portal up there. Just watch, it's pretty cool. Okay, and then you leave the portal, and you go to the bank. Toss all items, and your worn items. Clue, spade, royal seed pod, DDS. Open the clue again, then you run. Oh god. Watch, she's not gonna kill me. So what you do is you just wait, alright? And then you just run to your clue, you know? You want to pray melee if you're coming here because these guys, you know, they're aggressive towards you. Turn off auto retaliate. You want to open the door. Open those doors, then this door, and then this door. And then finally, you want to open that door. Now what you're going to do is you're going to click on the crate. And there's your clue scroll step. Oh. Oh, we're in for a treat. We get to do another wilderness step. Where is that one? That one's up there. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go, you know, use our royal seed pod, right? <clears throat> and then we're gonna go to the bank, okay? Now, we're gonna grab your dueling ring. Oh, fuck. We're gonna grab your dueling ring. Ferox Enclave, again. Right now, what you're gonna do gonna go through the free-for-all portal again, okay? Exit portal. And now you're back. You know what else I'm gonna do? I'm gonna grab a stamina pot. Why not? <clears throat> Might need to do a little bit of running. And so what you do now, for this clue, but you wanna activate the obelisk, okay? okay? So you activate the obelisk, right? Oh, by the way, I'm an Iron Man account, just so you know. You know, it's a wilderness clue, you know? It's a di distraction and diversion. So it dis distracts you and diverts you from what you were doing previously. In fact, if you wonder what I was doing previously, I've, uh, I've been hunting an abyssal whip. I'm uh, currently at about, eh, like 1650 kill count. Still no whip. Yeah, pretty sad. Alright, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna run to this. Alright, see where there's a spade symbol? What you do in situations like this is you wanna make sure you're equipped to your DDS, right? What you're gonna wanna do now is protect from magic turn on piety, get your special attack on, dig, and then you want to attack the Zamorak wizard. And just like that. Let's see what we get next. Wow, this is awesome. Another one. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to, we're going to go run to this gate, okay? I'm going to drink one of my stamina pots. It's actually pretty interesting that all you have to do is just, just run. Arena. No, I haven't done my major arena 2k. I really should get on that. I'm not gonna magic level 88. Honestly, I'm killing myself by not doing that. Click on the spade. 
Magic, Piety, Special Attack, Spade. And look, we're at a special attack. So you know what we do? Just auto attack. Yeah. Yeah. That's what you do. And we got another one. Please be wilderness. Oh, well, you know what? But this is good though. All right. I'll show you what to do in this situation. That's how you do a wilderness clue scroll. Now I want to show you what you can, what you do after you finish your wilderness step or plural wilderness steps. Because it's very interesting what you can do. Watch this. What you do now, you finish your steps, right? You pass through the barrier. And this is very important. Okay. This is very important. Very important. You want to go through. Again, the free-for-all portal. Do not use the pools of refreshment. If you're, you're a bitch if you use the pool of refreshment. You enter the free-for-all portal, right? Click. Watch this. Okay, you grab the clue. Grab your spade. Now here, I'll show you my setup. So I go dream and staff, quest point cape, graceful hood, top, gloves, legs, boots, Rada's blessing, fury, dueling, defender. Oh. Mr. Misclicked one of those. <laughs> no worries. And then I grab my rune pouch with that's law, dust, and fire. And I add some water runes to it too. And then I do DDS, DSIM, because I don't have a whip yet, because I'm a bitch. Anti poison, royal seed pod. Uh, wait, where is that stamina dose? Oh, and tap. And then, actually, you know what we can do? little efficiency and so then we got that now i think the clue said we want to go to a fairy ring right teleport <clears throat> god if i need a rope for this honestly having a need to get a rope for this every time is even worse i don't think we need a rope for this one though Let's go. Okay, he's right here. And then you do 150. And bam. That's how you get a reward casket. Wasn't that hard, right? So yeah, I'm going to edit this video now. And then upload it to YouTube. Yeah. So that's how you do it. That is how you get a reward casket. That is how I was able to accumulate these five hard caskets and if you check out my previous video i opened 20 caskets and i still have this one elite scroll i'm waiting for uh you know the elite clue scroll update um, but that hasn't come out yet so that one just sits so yeah um that's how you do hard clues and any clue step in the wilderness if you're not a bitch all right have a good day everybody eat a dick